Hey guys, it's Miko from ML Sound Lab, and today we'll be talking about the IR format and more importantly the length of the IR and how it affects your sound. So uh, today actually P Thorne posted a video where he was talking about his PT amp from Sir, and that amp uh, truncates IRs uh, to 20 milliseconds. And that raises the question, why do IR providers like myself uh, support IRs up to 500 milliseconds, like here. So instead of only giving you my opinion on the matter, I thought I'd show you. So um, if we're looking at a 20 millisecond IR, um, it's gonna be cut around here. And it, this is what you'll be getting. All of this information in here will be lost. Um, to demonstrate this, I'll just mute the rest of this IR so let's have a listen to what a 20 millisecond IR sounds like. And in comparison, a 500 millisecond IR. The difference is subtle, but what I hear is a much smoother IR, meaning as you get a more natural sound with a longer IR. But still, it's a subtle difference. I'll show you what the difference is. So I'll mute the first 20 milliseconds and you'll just hear the tail of the IR. So what you will be missing in a 20 millisecond IR is the room resonance. Now, you may not want to use this, but personally, I really like this sound. Uh, let me just zoom in so you'll see all the information and where it really is important. So once I zoom in, you'll see that there's a lot of information all the way up to around where Fractal Audio decided to cut their ultra res uh, format. So an ultra res IR is 170 milliseconds, so it will be there. Um, what you have after that is essentially silence. Let me just show you what this sounds like. So this is only what's left in a 500 millisecond IR after the Fractal Audio IR format, which is called Ultra Res. So I think most of us will agree that the information after 170 milliseconds is almost silence. Uh, it will not really make a huge difference, but the information uh, from 20 milliseconds to 170 milliseconds is, in my opinion, really important. So this is the information that you will not get in a 20 millisecond IR. And in my opinion, that does not only have the clap room sound, but it does have some of that important low end resonance. So when you're doing palm mutes and when you do pauses or you're playing something rhythmic, you will kind of lose a little bit of that smoothness that makes it sound more real. But I will agree that the most important part of your sound will be those first 20 milliseconds. So it's a lot more louder, but um, if you are playing the full IR in its full length, it'll be the smoothest result. Okay, so let's make a test. I'll start rolling the IR length from the beginning, 10 milliseconds at a time, and we'll kind of see uh, where the importance of having a long IR ends. So let's go. I feel like around here, you uh, don't hear most of the IR anymore. So this is uh, 80 milliseconds around. And uh, what you have left after 80 milliseconds is, it's gonna be almost inaudible. But you can see here in the curve that there's information all the way up to around 200 milliseconds or so. But um, 
if you would ask for my opinion on the matter, I would say at least 100 milliseconds is needed to get an authentic capture of an IR and uh, to get pretty much a perfect capture, I would say 200 milliseconds would suffice. But to be future-proof and have the highest quality possible, ML Sunlab IRs are always provided in 500 millisecond format, just in case if there's any need for it in future. Thank you guys for watching the video and uh, remember to subscribe. Cheers guys!